Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about demonstrative adjectives and pronouns with you. Um, demonstratives are this, that, these, and those. I'll go ahead and write that down here. This, whoops, this, that, these, and those. Okay, um, so if this little stick figure, um, I think I changed who it is, but let's say this little stick figure represents you. If you're holding something in your hand, like this little um, stick figure is holding a book and you want to use a demonstrative, you would pick a form of este for whatever's in your hand because este means this or these. So you would say este libro es muy interesante. So you use a form of este when something is close to you basically in your hand or on your person. If you are talking about something in somebody else's hand, um, but you're engaged in a conversation, like these two people are very close to each other, you're going to use a form of ese, which means that. So here I'm saying, este libro es muy interesante, this book is very interesting, but here I'm not going to use este anymore, I'm going to switch to ese, because now I am the girl with the backpack and I'm talking about this guy who's holding the book. So I'm saying, ¿Cómo es ese libro? What's, what's that book like? And if you're talking about something really far from you, like here's the girl with the backpack, and now she's talking about these books way over here, that's when I pull in aquel, a form of, of aquel. Me gustaría leer todos aquellos libros. I would like to read all of those books way over there. So basically, um, these guys mean this and these, the ones right here mean that, those, and the ones right here mean that one over there. Um, those ones over there. Okay, now you'll notice that there's multiple spellings. There are multiple spellings because since these are adjectives or they're being used as adjectives in this and in all of these examples, they have to agree with the noun that they describe. So for example, here if I'm talking about a book, I have to use the masculine, the singular spelling of this. If I was talking about an apple, Okay, so if I was talking about an apple, let's say now what's in my hand happens to be an apple instead of a book, I might would make a sentence that says, you know, this apple is very tasty, so very delicious. Esta manzana es muy deliciosa. And just like I use deliciosa, I made deliciosa end in A instead of being delicioso, it's all because I'm looking at manzana, so I also have to make my this end in an A. Because your demonstrative, if it's an adjective, it's got to agree with the noun to describe. So what is very delicious is the apple, so I have to use esta. And if I had, um, let's say, okay, now this time, let's say I had apples, and I'm up here, um, so I want to ask, you know, what are those apples like? Well, I'm going to have to pick for my those. You know, the first time I said, what's this book like? I use ese, but if I'm talking about apples, then I'm going to use esa. So I'd say, um, como son esas manzanas? You know, what are those apples like? Okay, you can also use demonstratives as adjectives, and they used to change their spelling, but that has since changed, making it a lot easier. So let's say the girl with the backpack says, Me gustaría usar esa pelota. Okay, and um, if you look here, pelota, 
is ball. And there's actually two balls. There's a ball in your hand and there's a ball on the floor. So Maria says, ¿Cuál? ¿Esta en mi mano o esta en el piso? And notice how each time we know she's still talking about a ball, but she doesn't mention ball like ball is mentioned here. Here, that is being used as an adjective to describe a ball. Here, esta and esa, this and that are being used as pronouns to replace ball. So you, once you know what you're talking about, you can take the noun out and just use this one, that one, um, that one over there but you've got to still make it agree. I still use esta and esa as opposed to, you know, este and ese, um, because what I'm talking about is uh, ball and it's feminine. Okay, so let's do a little bit of practice. Okay, so here it says, complete the sentences with the appropriate demonstrative adjective or pronoun. Um, and remember that your demonstrative has to agree and gender and number with the noun that it's either describing or replacing. So here it says, quiero comprar libros allá muy lejos. Okay, so quiero comprar blank libros allá. Allá means really far from the speaker. Allí means far from the speaker. And aquí means really close. So if you see aquí in your sentence, you're going to use um, this and these or a form of este. If you see allí, you're going to use a form of ese. And if you see allá, you're going to use a form of aquel. Well, we're using a ya, so we're going to use a form of aquel. So my options are aquel, aquella, aquellos, aquellas. Mm -hmm. Well, if what I'm talking about are libros, which is masculine and plural, I'm going to want the masculine and plural spelling of um, aquel, which would be this one. Okay, so quiero comprar aquellos libros, which actually I'll just go ahead and rewrite it out so it looks a little better. Okay, puedes traer blank película romántica que tienes allí. So I'm using allí, I'm going to look in this column. Película is feminine and singular, so I want the feminine singular spelling of um, the ese column, so it would be esa is what I would use. So, me puede, puedes traer esa película. Ellos van a servir sandwiches fabulosos aquí cerca. So, I'm aquí, I'm looking in the este column. We're talking about sandwiches, which is masculine and plural. So, then my masculine and plural word in this column is estos. Okay. Um, que es blank cosa allá? I'm looking at allá, so I'm going to go in this column. Um, I'm describing cosa, which is feminine and singular. So um, I would look at aquella. Aquella chica es muy inteligente. Que es blank cosa allá? Muy lejos. Um, oh, whoops. Go back to the chica. I I didn't see that it says aquí cerca, so I'm actually supposed to be looking here. Again, chica is feminine and singular, so I should go here, and it should be esta. Esta chica es muy inteligente. ¿Qué es blank cosa ya muy lejos? I'm looking at cosa. Uh, muy lejos es allá. So I would want aquella. Okay, yeah. Vas a beber caf um, café aquí cerca. So I'm looking here. What I'm describing is café. So I would use este. Here, quien es blank hombre? Allí, allí I'm looking in this column. It's masculine and it's singular, which would be ese. Quien es 
ese hombre allí, blank, allí lejos, no me gusta. We're still talking, so who is that man over there? Um, that one over there, I don't like. We're still talking about a man, so we would put ese. There also happen to be um, gender neutral demonstrative, those that, um, so we've got este, eso, and aquello. They don't have plural forms and they're used to point out ideas, actions, or concepts or to refer to unspecified objects or things. So if you're saying like, I don't like that and you're not identifying what that is, maybe it's a behavior. Um, like if my children hit each other, I might say, Aquello no me gusta. Or if somebody treats somebody bad, I might say, you know, aquello no me gusta. No comprendo eso. I don't understand that. Um, which would be a concept or an idea. Esto está mal. This is bad. Or this is wrong. Um, ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es, um, ¿Qué es eso? Which makes sense. If you're trying to identify what something is, you don't know what it is, so you can't ascribe gender to it. So these are some examples. ¿Qué es blank? ¿Qué está aquí? ¿Qué es esto? You're trying to identify. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué está aquí? That's ridiculous. Or that thing that you said is ridiculous. So you would say, eso es ridículo. No voy a comer. I'm not going to eat this. And that's kind of an insult to the cook. It's like you're not going to eat this, meaning you don't even know what this is. No voy a comer esto. ¿Qué es eso que hay? You know, what's, que hay ahí? What's, what's that that's over there? Um, that, I don't like at all. Eso no me gusta nada. Eso, eso es loco. No comprendemos esto. ¿Qué es esto que me dice? So if it's like a concept, you know, what are you telling me? I don't like, if, you, if you're trying to say, you know, you don't like a particular behavior or you don't like a particular food and you don't even want to identify what it is, that's when you use gender neutral 